This country has given the world three original art forms. Country music, jazz, and Louis Armstrong. And when you combine two of these art forms, Louis Armstrong recording a brand new album of country songs, you've got something unique, something rare indeed. Welcome the great Louis Armstrong. Folks, you knew it was plain to see that the likes of me didn't fit with you. So you traded me for the gaiety of the well to do and turned away from the love I offered you. Chandelier lights up the painting on the wall. The marble statuettes will stand in stately in the hall. But will the timely crowd that has you laughing loud help you dry your tears when the new wears out of your crystal chandelier? made the full cycle from of all kinds. Country music, jazz, you've played a little bit of everything over the years, haven't you? That's right. Oh, well, music's my life. It's always been, you know. And you've been at it a long time. I know that uh, yeah. we did a little research on some of your recordings. We find that on July 16th, 1930, you played trumpet on a session with the late Jimmy Rogers, the father of country music. I sure did. That was in, in Hollywood, right? That's right. So I've been knowing Jimmy for a long time, and 
piling up his music too and I have a meet one morning and, and Jimmy said, man, I feel like singing some blues, you know? Mm -hmm. I said, okay, daddy, you sing some blues and I'm going to blow behind you. And that's the way the record started, you know? <laughs> you know what I would love to do? I would like to kind of recreate that recording session of July 16th, 1930. We'll get Bill Walker to play piano and I'll try to sing Jimmy Rogers' lyrics, uh -huh. the lyrics he recorded, and you wail like you did on the record. Can we do that? Well, I'll tell you to do. Uh, we'll say, we'll give it to him in black and white. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I stood up there and I said, Yo, lady. 